These days film photography is not cheap. Film's expensive, processing expensive. I thought I would make a short video to show how not to mess up the simplest thing, which is to put the film in in the first place. As you can see, I've opened up the back of the camera and I'm going to try and put the film in. Right, the first thing I need to do is put the film in this side. So actually I'm going to, from the inside of the camera, I'm just going to push the rewind knob up. That allows me to insert the film into the space. Then I push the film rewind knob back down. If it doesn't engage exactly, then it just needs a little bit of a twiddle. This side of the film, I need to feed the thin part of the leader into a slot on the take-up reel and then carefully wind it forward. I need to make sure that the sprockets are lined up. So at that point I'm fairly secure with what we're doing. I can fold that up. Right, here is the key. This is the absolute key to it. If I'm winding the film forward, you'll see that the rewind knob begins to turn around. If the rewind knob does not turn around as I advance the film, I've done it wrong. Now you'll notice at the beginning it didn't turn around very much because that was because the film was loose inside the cassette. But from this point onwards I'm absolutely secure in what I'm doing. The film advance counter does not help me because that's going to advance whether or not there's film in the camera. Let's assume I get to the end. Right, I need to get the film back into the cassette. So I turn the camera over on this one and there's a knob here which releases the clutch inside and that allows me to fold this lever open and you'll see there is an arrow on the lever saying that I need to wind in this direction. I'm waiting for a click and there's the click. Now to open up the camera I need to pull this upwards and there I have my film. How easy is that? You do not need to make it complicated. This will work every time if you do it properly.